When it comes to mining cryptocurrencies, one of the very first things that you need to do is open a wallet and have wallet addresses for your coins to be deposited into. Many people are struggling with this, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the Trust Wallet, which will provide you with the addresses for your cryptocurrencies. Stay tuned. Okay, so Trust Wallet is a mobile wallet. It works both on Apple and on Android. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Android. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Play Store, type in Trust Wallet, which is the first one, Trust Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet, and just install that. Once this is installed, you can just open it up now here, if you already had a wallet in the past, you would choose I already have a wallet and you would enter the recovery phrase that I will show you right now. Now for this purpose, we're installing a new wallet. So you're going to click on create a new wallet, accept the terms, continue. Now, this is the 12 words that are extremely important. You need to keep the word. So click on I understand. Do not share these words with anyone. I'm going to share these with you, obviously, because I am not going to be using this as my primary wallet. This is just an example wallet. So these are extremely important. If you lose these, you won't be able to recover your wallet and you could lose your funds in your wallet as well and all the crypto coins that you hold. So it's important to copy these somewhere safe. And then if you need to recover your wallet, like we saw in the first step, you would have clicked, I already have a wallet and enter these 12 codes and you would recover your wallet that way. Now it's important that you take note of these because in the next screen, it's going to ask you to input the words in the same order. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Because now as soon as you click continue, it's going to ask you to enter those in the order they were. First we had release. Then we had input. Then we had roast. Then we had icon. Then we had replace. Then we had iron. Fee. Unfold. Candy. Wash. Bread. And pluck. If you put it in the wrong order then it will tell you that it's in the wrong order and you have to try again. But there you go, that's done. And just click on done. That's gonna create the wallet on your phone and successfully create it. It's as easy as that. You can enable push notifications to receive notifications for incoming and outgoing transactions as well. Now here, obviously I have my wallet and there we have some coins. Now, if you don't see the coin you're trading in at the moment, at the right top hand corner here, you have these two little lines here, the settings, and you can actually search for tokens. So let's say I'm trading in Doge, for example. I'll just click done. So basically you just have to turn it on and toggle the switch on from here, and it will be part of the wallet as well. So if we go back, now I can see Dogecoin here. Now, in order to retrieve your addresses and to get an address, so let's say I'm using Unminable and I need a wallet address in order to, tr to mine Dogecoin. You're going to click on the coin, whatever it is, I'm going to use Dogecoin, and you're going to click on Receive. When you click on Receive, this is going to bring up the wallet address. And that's basically all you need. You can click on Copy here, and that's all you need to put in your script or your unminable application when mining. It will be the same thing for, for example, Ethereum. So if you click on Ethereum and you click on receive, then you're going to have your Ethereum wallet address here. And that's what you need to put into your scripts or your programs when you are about to start mining. Another interesting thing that you can do here, if the coin is not listed, you can add a custom token. So if you click on the settings button again, if you cannot find the token, let's say I'm going to put in, for example, waves. Okay, it should be there, I think. So let's click done and it's there. 
but let's say it's it's not the token I want. You can click on add custom token. Now here you will need the contract address. So let me show you what that is as well. Basically, if you open up coin market cap, you can see all the coins. You can search for the coin you want. Let's say I look for a coin that didn't exist. I'm going to type in safe moon because I know for sure that didn't exist by default. When you type in safe moon, here you will have a Binance Smart Chain contract ID. So if you grab this ID and you copy that address and you go back to the application, you will paste this address here. And obviously the network here is Binance Smart Chain. So here you would change that to Smart Chain. Okay. And I'm just going to paste the address there. And the name is SafeMoon. So that came up automatically. Okay. If you click on done, that will then add the token there. And at the moment, obviously I've got zero SafeMoon. So if there are tokens that you do not find in that list, you can easily do it that way as well. And here it also shows you what the current prices are and what happened over the past 24 hours. What you do need to do if you do have coins and you want to exchange them into a fiat currency, then you will need to transfer the coin to another address on an exchange such as, for example, Binance or Coinbase, just to mention a few. So you would need to transfer your coins by clicking, for example, Dogecoin, send it to the other address of Dogecoin that you have on a third party exchange. And that way you will then be able to sell the crypto coins into a fiat currency of your choice. And then you can transfer them back to your bank account as well. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell and the like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will try to answer your questions as well. Until next time, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.